Hey everyone, so I'm here. So thanks for all your comments. Uh, I read every single one of them. I approve and read everything uh, other than ones with abusive swear words and language in. Um, and, and no, I'm not a paid shill. I make nothing from YouTube and I don't, no one pays me to do anything. Um, so today I'm just going to talk about the charts. I'm going, I've looked at all of the random projects people have said, hey, can we talk about this? So I've made a little list here, as you can see, um, and I'm just gonna show you the, what the charts say about it, okay? I'm not gonna go into the fundamentals or the tech behind it, just what the charts are, are saying. So let's look at time first. Righty tighty, with time I tend to use deck screener. Um, it's well, there's two charts I use for that I, I that I used to blah, 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 blah. start again. Um, so I used to use Coin Paprika um, for for time because it had a bit more back data, but it's not that accurate um, for actually uh, executing off of because when you're sidestepping and sidestepping into MIM, um, you need a chart of time against MIM and Coin Paprika Preka chart doesn't show that, so I use the deck screener one, um, but it doesn't go back that far, only to sort of end of October. Anywho, uh, looking at this on the daily chart, it's a bag of balls, it really is. So uh, obviously I can't show you, you know, big trend lines here, but um, what happened is that it breached the, the, the base resistance, something like that, and we started, um, uh, and this is actually a textbook Kobo, um, it literally kissed off and buggered off. So Kobo is kiss off, bugger off. So whenever you see a key level uh, that's smashed through, you nearly always see uh, a move back to the previous support or, or resistance uh, before buggering off. So this is textbook Kobo. Uh, anywho, we started doing you know, what I call six sixing, uh, as in side steps, uh, around this area. And we've been jumping in and out, in and out, in and out, um, just increasing the, the time um, tokens that you have. now. From the biggest picture uh, on a daily chart, you really shouldn't be getting back into time um, if, if you're doing proper side steps um, or say if you wanted to be safe until the market breached through this uh, resistance trend line here, uh, what I call base resistance. So this is what I call base support. This is base resistance. And so if you wanted to be safe, don't enter time until we breach beyond this. So let's look at the four hour chart you can see that it's really just caterpillaring, um, sort of reverse caterpillaring up and down this um, this resistance level here. And so this is what my me and my community have been doing. We've been sort of doing side steps. We've been going back in um, basically every time it takes a little bite of this uh, or pullback really. Now the thing, so when I talk about six sixing and, and side or side stepping, there are two ways you can do this. The, the easiest way for most people that don't want to stare at charts all, all the time is just look at the daily chart and go, right, um, here's the, the base resistance. I'm not going to get back in until time you know, just breaks this. So this is really easy. You can just look at this chart once a day and get on with your life. Um, but the thing is, you, you don't know when it's going to V-reverse or going to you know, uh, go back or recover. Um, so because it could have done it there, 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 and, and it's not good to t uh, bottom pick. So what we tend to do is we, when we're doing the side steps, if I get to the one hour chart, we get a bit more fit, uh, resi uh, resolution, is that whenever we, we side step, let's say we side step something around here, we tend to get back in after a big over ex uh, overextended candle, so something like this. So big overextended candle, normally you'd have a pullback, at least a 50% pullback from there, and then we sort of get in around here. Obviously it went on a bit a bit longer, and then we're in it for a bit, for a, a day, a couple of days, until we see another sort of get out opportunity. And there are loads of, I mean, I could draw patterns all, all day long. I mean, this this was literally uh, one of the, the uh, things that we got out on. Um, I remember exiting around four, five hundred before it just slid off a cliff. Um, and yeah, so, but long story short, it's just gruesome. It is absolutely gruesome. Um, and this could easily fall a lot further. So looking at the, the one hour chart, if we get rid of this, um, one of the, th the, the lines that I've been following 
is this one here. So last night, or yesterday, I got back in. I bought something like 370 time. Um, but the thing is, yeah, so I sidestepped, bought back in around here, and then it came back up to here. And what I was anticipating was more from the order book. So one of the things I study is the time order book. And you can, ch um, so it's charter.io, then just find Wonderland. And when my internet hurries up, you can have a little look. So you can click the cog button and look at the data for the last thousand trades, last 10 trades, whatever. So, for example, if we look over here, hourly statistics, it says 416 transactions in the last hour. So we can click on the, you know, 500 transactions and it will show us roughly the last hour's worth of transactions. So we can see a lot of buys coming in, uh, a lot of sales coming in. Um, it's proper frog nation um, time. I love it because you always have like so the buys at the moment there's always more buyers than there are sellers uh, and normally the volume is more with the sellers than, than the um, than the buyers so we're seeing some chunky orders coming in but when we're looking at this most orders are, are pretty small uh, when it comes to sort of the, the buyers that's why I say it's frog nation there's, there's just this is proper retail driven uh, community here so it's like a hundred odd, odd dollars etc um, and then every now and then you get a big chunky one um, like that so I look at this anyway um, I actually got back out I we saw this um, uh, pullback here and the order book was just dead and, and it was just sliding down so I actually sold I, I got out into MIM last night at 3.3 three something it was on my discord somewhere um, but yeah and the one thing I, I do want to stress is if we go into the telegram I was doing also a bit of an experiment because I have been accused of manipulating um, time and I think that's utter bullshit I really am not and one thing I will share with ta uh, with you folks is the experiment I did with you know a, a trusted member of the, my community so here we go so yesterday I had a 70 time uplift that was good so 23% uplift from just one move yeah, so this is late last night, two in the morning, and that two in, in the morning um, experiment was uh, around here. So actually, I got out about three, three hundred, three two, three hundred ish. Um, so I'll read it out. I uh, did an experiment with Adam in the group, and one of the reasons for this side step was to properly study the order book following my move, as I believe I don't actually have much influence on the time price. And the observations were interesting. My belief was correct. I sold 403 time in a one-er. Um, normally I chunk it up to get the best price, but for this experiment I just wanted to get everything out in one price just to, to prove that I don't influence the price. So I sold 403 time in a one-er and the price only moved down $50. Then shortly after, someone came and sold 318-ish worth of time. Probably an RT member because I did text it out saying I was about to do this experiment. Um, as I said here, look, at half one in the morning, I said selling time for a cheeky trade and then aiming to rebuy around um, here. Volume is weak, price is flat. Anyway, so continuing with this. Um, price and stabilize only $100 lower and the order book has returned to normal. This is great news, folks. The big sell off today was no doubt loads of levered people getting liquidated. So all, it was like a liquidation cascade. So all of that dry kindling is out of the picture now and the market seems more resilient. My wallet was the 38th biggest wallet in the world for time and the other person that came along was the 44th biggest wallet and we barely moved the market. So the best part of you know two and a half million dollars worth of um, time was sold and the price only budged a hundred dollars. <laughs> this is great news and bolsters my bullishness for, for time even more. Regarding re-entry, I'm going to stay in MIM for a bit. Stocks look weak um, and another move down will negatively affect crypto in general and the dollar index is still rallying. So I'll see where the land lies tomorrow and miss perhaps a day of rebases. And as I said here, from the, literally this is from this morning, um, the dollar index was looking pretty damn strong this morning. In fact, I haven't actually looked at it since. Uh, let's have a look at the D Dixie. Yeah, still there. Still trying to punch up. Remember, when every, anything priced in the dollar, if the dollar goes up, uh, everything priced in the dollar goes down. So if this surges up, expect more bearishness with stocks and crypto. And as you can see, um, indices are having a bit of a bit of a wobble. Um, anywho, so yeah, and I 
I play Age of Empires every night. So I, I created Geek Clubs every night. I play Age of Empires 2, Definitive Edition. Uh, let me know if you want to join. <laughs> um, and yeah, I was doing this with, with Adam. And um, we were taking screenshots. So that was the order book as we did that, or just before we executed. Um, and then that's my order going. And so at the time, there's only eight sellers and 42 buyers in that last hour. Uh, and so that was my order going in. Um, then someone else came along uh, and then we're talking about Mim and some other stuff and then this was uh, so uh, yeah ignore that as something different but um yeah so long story short I can only budge the price myself by $50 literally that is it so when we did this so wait what time was this when did I actually get out it was what time was that 1.36 in the morning so uh, it was somewhere around here. So if we, uh, one thirty-six. So it was on that candle there. So I got out. Let's call it three two four two. I could look at my log and find it, but I can't be asked. So I got out on this candle somewhere right around there, and then the price literally only moved fifty odd dollars, um, and then someone else came along. So. And this, this drifting down is nothing else, just normal flat price movement. So, yeah. And look at this on, yeah, this still looks bearish. Um, so expect more sliding for, for time. Um, that's all I'm going to say. And I'm sat in min, by the way. Hey, ho. Um, so that's time done. Wrapped memo. Okay, so here's the thing. If you really genuinely want to have uh, the, the healthiest, broadest picture of ohm or time, etc., the the chart the 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 staked chart is much better. So if you look at the chart of wrapped memo, what this shows you is the chart where it accounts for the price movement and the rebases. So, for example, it, like if you were to take time, for example, it's go like the AP the APR is about one point eight four percent per day. So what this means is that you're getting your 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 pot is increasing by in terms of time tokens by 1.84 percent per day so if price were to drop 1.84 percent per day the wrapped memo chart will go sideways because you're not making a profit your equity will be flat if let's say the price goes down faster than the 1.84 percent uplift per day of your of your of your time then the chart will go down um, and so you'll only see a rising chart if um, your, your rebases is beating the price basically. So let's have a look at wrapped memo. So I, it's a wrapped memo. I'm, I've got a, I don't think it's on wrapped memo mim. Here we go. So if we look at this, you can see this, this gives you the best picture possible. Not only do we have probably the world's most clear head and, uh, sorry, double top, you can clearly see that it broke the trend line. You should have got out somewhere around here. And right now, we're in one hell of a, a crash and it's really not wise to really get in before this um, you know until it breaches this so that's that um, I guess if we go back to time you could just have a bit of a, a stab or a wild stab in the dark and go look probably gonna fall to 2000 blah 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 but I, I just wouldn't recommend that so anyway that's my god 13 minutes in I've only talked about time let's speed things up ohm we're gonna go, go gonna go gonna go rip it for you um, we're going to go rapid fire now. So ohm, same shizzle, absolute basket case. And don't I say this lovingly, by the way? I am an omi. So I got out at nine fifty. But looking at this, uh, if you were to basically draw the base resistance, it's something like that. Don't bother getting into this is breached. Again, let's look at the base support level. The base support levels like that. So we are smashing into this. Um, I'm drawing these really roughly, by the way. So it's going to be something like that. Um, and remember, we're we're in the 300s, and I said this would happen. This lovely sort of area here is where I, I see probably most likely a bit of a bounce. But it could be a bit of a stag stagnation sort of bounce before we really breach beyond this. So that's that. Again, if we're looking at ohm, really we need to look at wrapped SOM. That will give us the best picture of whether hodlers as in those three three are actually making any money or actually making progress so let's just do it wrap so mim yeah screw it uh, come on yeah again doesn't look good for some reason my internet is so shit 
Come on, load. I need the. Come on. I'm waiting for. I can't change the time frame. If I just reload it quickly. This is time I'll never get back in my life. <laughs> anyway, I'll just look at. I'll just zoom out. So long story short. Yeah, same thing. Let's just zoom out. Um, don't know what time frame this is, but we can see if you've been 3 3 ing, you have basically lost a lot of money. Um, here we go. Oh, 15 minutes. Let's go to the daily chart. It's just been going down. Um, obviously, it's not showing us much data here. Um, but yeah, I, I really wouldn't. It's just it's grim, folks. There's just there's no easy way to say this. Ohm is a bag of balls, and don't get in it and get in it until it reaches resistance. So that's that. Um, let's so we looked at Ohm and Rats Ohm. Um, so now we're going to have a look at Klima. Again, I love Klima, but I'm not touching it. Absolutely not touching it with a barge pole until it sorts its shit out. Um, with with Klima. Again, I think I've showed, said this in previous videos. I love the project. I love what it's doing, um, but it's in price discovery, and it looks like a falling compression. So we should see a break to the, the the upside. But as these little doodles have said, I will buy this. I'll get into it once it reaches clear and does a Kobo from here, whether it's up here, 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 or wherever. Until then, we just got to wait. And with dollar bullishness. And stocks are looking likely to tumble. I mean, we've never seen CEOs across the world sell their own stock of their own company uh, as prolifically as they are doing right now. Elon Musk, Bezos, Gates, all that sort of stuff. So I'm um, really bearish on stocks. Anyway, so yeah, I still see further falling. So this is why I literally for the first time in a, in a while, I'm 100% out of crypto. I do not own a single crypto. I'm out. I'm sat in stables. So that's Klima. Doesn't look good. Heck. Uh, so I've been in Hector for a while. Um, I got out again. You'll <laughs> you'll see a little pattern emerge here as we go through these. When I get in, when I get out. So I was in Hector. I've made a lot of money with Hector actually. Uh, I got in sort of early November, um, so it was lovely. But what did I do? Once we saw this distinct topping sort of pattern, I got out. I got out a bit late, so. Um, I think I got out around 170, 150. I sidestepped it a bit and then got back in around here and then, yeah, but I'm, I am out, out, out. And the reason being is because, well, you can probably guess there's some sort of resistance level like this. No point getting in until it breaches. Simple as that. So that's Hector. Um, Spa, so Spartacus, I was in Spartacus for a while as well. Basically, the same time as I got into Hector. They're both on Phantom Swap, so I just did the same thing. Again, went. Have a guess when I got out. <laughs> Again, trading doesn't need to be fancy. You don't need silly indicators. You just you just need one line, and that line was that. Once it broke, I did wait for a bit of a pullback. It never happened, so I actually got out around sort of one twenty-ish to be fair. So I was a bit late, but still, I saved myself a bunch of pain. And there's no point getting back in until you know we get north of this this area. So that's Spartacus. Uh, Jade, oh Jesus Christ! I don't want to talk about Jade, but I, I will because a million comments are about Jade, and I'm I'm always very sad when I talk about Jade because unfortunately, um, it seems to be, the Jade project seems to have the most amount of indoctrinated, brainwashed crypto investors out there, honestly, and it's really sad. And for years, I've been exposing shitty projects to so like BitConnect. So I was I was screaming off the rooftops that BitConnect, USI Tech, and OneCoin were scams long before you know the internet got hold of it. And guess what? They were exposed to be scams. Um, and in fact, post edit. I'm going to find this awkward video um, of me confronting a, a OneCoiner. And uh, yeah, so cue video. I was in a really awkward situation the other day. I was introduced to a guy, so I, I, I'm all into cryptocurrencies at the moment, and one of my friends knew that, and he met someone new and who was also into cryptos, and he introduced us. I was like, oh, cool, so we started talking, and then he tried to sell me one coin. But he's uh, evolving a large Bitcoin mm. cryptocurrency that they're setting up. 
I thought... No, really, are you doing I an know, IPO? I know who should have no, Well, there is an IPO coming for this company. Do you know one point? Oh, yes, it's a scam. No. Mm, it is. It's no. the biggest scam in the crypto world. Ah. It is. Some interesting conversations. For those of you who have never been which is the biggest crypto scam ever. It's Sorry, I, I would... I would I'd definitely look into their into it because it's it's widely known as the biggest scam in the crypto world. Uh, but believe you me, I've been I know the guy very well. Actually, set it up. Ed yeah. The thing is, believe all this stuff. Believe it. You need to talk to somebody that knows about it. People are going oh, to jail I, I, I in do India know about it. Only because they're people that are making outrageous claims. We had the same thing happen in Italy. Yeah. And it's only people like me who are making claims about earnings. That's all. It's not, mm. the company's not a scam. It's legal in every country. Yeah, so. Yeah. Bullshit. Uh, so yeah, I meet people, I used to meet people like this all the time. And unfortunately, I'm meeting the same type of people when it comes to Jade. Just because I don't like the people behind Jade because they screwed up Smart Coin and they screwed up Smarter Coin. Uh, I, I think it's highly likely they're going to screw up Jade as well and a lot of people are going to lose money. Uh, and by the way, I'm not but hurt. I lost $50,000 um, on Smart slash Smarter. Um, and yeah, it's just, yeah. I mean, it was like a, a small percentage of the pot, but it's just the way they organize it. And it's just a bunch of marketers. And they're always going on about, you know, the Fair Launch, uh, FLF, Fair Launch Foundation, whatever. This is just marketing bullshit. Um, and that's what companies do to try and sound official. They'll come up with some bullshit thing like um, I could say, right, I'll set up the 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 realistic, honest trader found foundation or um, let's have a think. The trustworthy institute traders tit, I don't know. <laughs> and then, you know, make this, you know, create a fancy website that makes it look all official, whatever, sign up my own company myself to this, I'm an, I'm, I'm an official tit, trustworthy institute of traders or something, I don't know. Um, and, and that's all it is, this FLF, it's just some bullshit random made up thing. So anyway, that's just my thoughts. Please, just everyone has an, uh, opinions are like assholes. everyone has one. My opinion on Jade is it's bullshit. That's it. Please, Keep your trolling to yourself. <laughs> I'm allowed my own opinion on my own YouTube channel. <laughs> um, so, what does the chart say about Jade? Not that I've ever bought it. The The chart says this. Oh, actually, this is really bad. And I'm not just saying this because I'm not a fan of the, 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 the team. But this actually is not good. And the reason it's not good, um, not so much of the, this top one here, but what's going on down here. So this is the base support and it has breached and you know me but you should know me by now that one of my things is the Kobo so whenever a key level is breached what tends to happen roughly 80% of the time is you have the breach which we're seeing right here oh, let's make it messy the breach the pullback to kiss off previous support and then the bugger off so this looks like a Kobo is in play um, so yeah just keep an eye on, on that folks we so if I was in this and it's breached the support, I would be I would be getting out around here at 276. Watch this fall. Um, yeah, watch this fall. So that's Jade. Let's look at N um, Nemesis. So I was in N Nemesis as well. Again, made some lovely profits. Um, Nemesis was great. However, I got out uh, a while back. And the, when I say a while back, probably a few days ago. So if we look at the four hour chart, here we go. So I was riding Nemesis up and it was great. I doubled my money for sure. Um, it busted through this um, this trend line and I got out late because the yield was so ridiculous. I thought, oh, let's just see if it pulls back to four, 400 and it didn't. And then it started creating this rising compression, which is again, one of my favorite patterns. And so I got out about three, 800 ish. And then look what happened and I said, I drew this arrow back then and said this is going to crash and it did. Um, so yeah, that is another example of um, a lovely sidestep where, oh, again, look at this, there's more falling to come here. This is pretty bearish, folks. More falling to come with Nemesis. Um, 
yeah and by the way I can prove all of this like everything I do is in, in telegram um, so we can just look at you know do a search for NMS here we go uh, finally got here's, here's one finally got out of nemesis um, so I got into nemesis when was this what day the first of December so where is the first of December somewhere around here um, around the three yeah around three thousand dollar level rode it up got lots of rebases on the on the way up obviously um, and then got out finally out um, oh, that this was better yeah got out now it's just in time textbook drop yeah so I actually got out on the uh, what, what day was that 10th at 11 o'clock so on the 10th there we go around here so there was a bit of whip soaring, but got, yeah we got out just in time which is pretty handy um what's next nemesis so yeah no point there's no point getting into nemesis just yet um just like with all of th this is the reason why i am out of crypto completely uh, everything looks bearish as hell at the moment so yeah go to cash folks uh, what's next? Crown Midas DAO. Again, an an another lovely project which we're in. So Crown. But we're out. I easily doubled my money with this one. In fact, what I, I sort of use my own telegram as a bit of a, a log, a lazy log. Um, so this was a fair while ago. Crown risen 30% since getting in. Yada, yada, yada. Here we go. What was I doing here? Um, come on, where is it? Oh yeah, despite doubling my money in Crown over the last few days, I'm afraid it's time to sidestep. And that was the four, that was yesterday. I got out of Crown yesterday at half ten. So there we go, that line there. So I got out at three eighty something. Why? Because first of all, I was following this trend line up. It breached, and I missed it. I was doing meetings or something like that. Um, didn't get out. And then I was analyzing this next level. Yeah, so it recovered, so I stayed in. Uh, and then I was analyzing this this one, and that bu bust through. Um, and then I got out, as I said here. And so that's been a lovely sidestep. I mean, as I said, if I was to buy back in, I'd have um, pretty much 100% uplift almost. And then the next one, Tempo. Ah, oh, okay, so Tempo down. Again, made money on this. Uh, by the way, I, if you it sounds like I'm a one track thing saying you know I'm only making money it's not the case if you want to have a laugh go to my Instagram I don't put much on here but I always put my losing trades on here so for example here we go place a, a trade four days ago turned it into a hundred grand loss was perfectly time trade in the wrong way so I will always share my losing trades um, that was the cuddle um, here we go Hundred grand loss that was there. If you scroll down a bit further, you'll see some horrendous losing trades. I never post my winning trades ever. That was actually three trades in all in one, so it was actually like an eighty grand loss there with oil. But yeah, anyway, so with tempo, ah, got some lines ready. Got in here at fourteen dollars. Uh, got out here on that massive pullback. So it was I, was I was analyzing this level over here. It busted out. I missed this because obviously this is one hour chart, but I got out on this big old pullback at 30 odd dollars. And then what's happened since? Game over. Um, what it was. Here's the interesting thing of all of the charts, this is the only one which is breaching its base resistance. And it's done a Kobo. It really has. It's busted through, it's pulled back, and it looks like it's running away. The problem, the reason why I'm not getting back into, into tempo is the liquidity. It's absolutely ridiculous. So if we look at this um, and you then go to markets oh, and it won't show you long story short I sold like you can't buy huge amounts of this um, there's no depth um, and I remember I, I was having to chunk everything down into like two thousand dollar chunks and even a two thousand dollar chunk I was getting absolutely negatively slipped so although it looks good it looks like it's it's booming uh, as we can see here you, it's just really hard to get money into this, as in chunky money. Um, so for me, it's not worth 
you know putting five grand like yeah I, when I get into something I want to put at least 50 to 100 grand in so and I, and I can't do that with this there's just not enough li liquidity the, this, the swimming pool is too too um, shallow for me if that makes sense so I can't play with this anymore but if you have smaller bags so to speak it's worth uh, probably not on this big old overextension it's worth getting into um, and wag me again this is a I've not made I've, I've never been in wag me um, that's euphoria I think um, I've seen it I just haven't got into it uh, don't know why um, haven't really looked at it to be honest I don't know anything about euphoria other than the fact that everyone keeps telling me to look at it um, so where is wag me one one die I guess that's the stable coin equivalent um, let's double check yeah this looks pretty similar to the one on coin gecko or yeah so let's wait for this to hurry up Ooh, god damn yeah I wouldn't play with this folks not just yet this looks like it's hit rock, it's hit rock bottom um, mind you this is probably the 15 minute chart come on load up okay oh, it's not playing ball here I can't draw anything um, yeah this is pretty pants to be fair uh, and again, I know nothing about this project. It could it could have great tokenomics, but you should have got out when the base trend line was broken, which would be somewhere around here. If you if you were to draw that, or somewhere around up here, really. And then since then, look at the base trend line all all the way down. Um, and I think it's just broken it just by default because it's just flatlined pretty much at 380. So it's yeah, it's flatlining out of the this, which isn't positive, by the way. That is not a good move. When you, here we go, daily chart, right. So it looks, if we go to the four hour chart, get a bit more resolution here. So if you were to do this and try and come up with some sort of base resistance level, it has breached it technically like that. So that is what I would have drawn as this was going down. And it's breached it, but it hasn't done a proper positive breaching. So really when you see a breaching of stuff, you wanna see a big move out, some sort of pullback, uh, and then movement like this when you see a breaching like it's not even a breaching when you see a dribbling out of uh, uh, a trend like this it's not good if anything this is creating a bearish rectangle uh, and a bearish rectangle again is a continuation pattern to the downside so you'd have something like this um, and then further falling so something like full pullback and then this so wag me know nothing about it but charts are saying no joy right gotta go gotta leave you hopefully that will help i am in mim at the moment i'm completely out just waiting patiently uh, on the sidelines for time my beloved time um but at the moment it's pretty grim y'all pretty grim watch own continue to fall watch stocks continue to in fact, I can't say anything about stocks. I'm not allowed. It's a regulated asset. I'll get in trouble if I told you to buy or sell it. So, um, yeah. So, in fact, I should probably get rid of all that as well. Anywho, see you soon. Bye-bye.